Okay, what we've got today is a 80% furnace with a Honeywell Smart Valve. That's the silver thing in the center there. Hot surface igniter, which is a very small little yellow glow in there, is going to light the pilot. And as soon as it lights the pilot, the pilot electronically proves the flame. And the main gas comes on as it has now. Uh, problems with this thing can be uh, if the pilot does not come on at all, it's either a power problem or uh, your smart valve may have failed. Remember, if the smart valve has power coming into it and nothing coming out, it has failed. Uh, sometimes these things will fail to uh, prove the pilot, and when they fail to prove the pilot, the pilot will come on, but the main burner won't. Occasionally, they will turn on the main burner. I'm going to be demonstrating that here in a minute. Um, the burner will come on, then it will short cycle off. That's a flame sense problem, and the uh, surfaces, the stainless steel surfaces on the uh, pilot assembly need to be clean. Now you can do that, but you got to be careful that little hot stick igniter to break it off. The entire pilot has to be replaced. Now you can test to see whether that uh, hot surface igniter is failing by waiting for that click. You keep hearing that click now, and that's the hot surface igniter coming on. Um, and taking a match and lighting that main burner. You got about 90 seconds to do that. Uh, but if you get it in there in time, it'll light, and it won't stay on, uh, because the next time it cycles off, it won't start again, but it does tell you what's wrong. Now, here's one more view of this thing lighting off, um, a little closer view. Shut off like you did not have the flame sands. It's going to try again right away. Remember, that's got about 90 seconds to prove that pilot. So, an hot surface igniter comes on, the pilot comes on, and then uh, once it proves, the main gas will come on. And it should continue to run. As always on things like this, if you can't get anything to happen, look for power problems. Look for high voltage problems, look for your control voltage problems.